What is up YouTube, it's your boy Trevgoat here, bringing you yet another Inside the Mind of Trevgoat. And if you've been here before, um, you kind of know what the deal is. I let you know what's going on inside my mind as I'm playing the game. Um, so let's get right into it right here. The guy steals my building. If you have watched me in any of my other videos, I always land in that brick building right across the street right there. Um, that guy ended up landing there, so had to divert to this building back here end up picking up a cordite um, I was kind of being aggressive here I really wanted to get in there at him and uh, try to get the kill as quick as I could just because I knew that he probably didn't have much and I know I didn't have much um, I actually got taken a little bit from red over there and um, ended up going into that gunfight a little bit weak but still was able to pick it up uh, for the first kill of the game Moving on here, I was on top of Brick. Um, still being kind of aggressive. I knew there was gunshots in this building. I knew someone just died. He probably heard my drop come over. Knew that guy was weak as I got some good shots onto him. There, you never want to go too fast down like a stairs or somewhere that you never know where the guy could be hiding around a corner. So make sure that uh, you take it a little bit slow like I did there and uh, secure that kill. So if you haven't noticed already, I actually recorded this in the theater mode on Call of Duty as I didn't actually get it recorded at the time. So maybe a little bit delayed and it may seem like I'm not hitting my shots, but I actually did, um, obviously during the game. <laughs> um, ended up cooking the nade a little bit too long right there. I think I would have gotten that kill if I wouldn't have, uh, but I unfortunately missed it. Moving on to the next clip here, um, this guy saw me in brick and he actually gets a really nice snipe shot into me right there. Um, not sure how he hit that shot, but he came out the door at the wrong time and was able to get some nice shots into him and got the kill. So in this next clip, you could obviously hear this car driving up, got the stick onto him. He was about one shot once he got out. Uh, easy kill, um, especially in Rivertown where there's so many corners and so many cars that think they can just drive right through. It's easy to get that kill. And like I said, here comes another one. Um, just missed that uh, Molotov. Um, not sure if it would have killed him anyway if I would have hit it, but it would have definitely damaged him a lot and then I would have hopefully been able to pepper him a little bit to get that full kill ended up hearing a guy next to me in uh, the blue building right here um, I think I saw him maybe in a window here he probably could hear me as well um, he ends up peeking out the back door here not sure what he was doing he was kind of a bot ended up getting an easy kill for me wasn't mad about it Right here on top of Brick, did not get very good snipe shots into uh, that guy right there. Um, but was unfortunately to have some grapples, got over here, made a good play, threw the chicken up, knew this guy was coming down the street, cooked the grenade at the correct uh, length of time this time, turned around, got a nice headshot on this guy, heard a guy in pizza. Um, behind me over here just kind of looking to see if uh, I did hear him for sure and I think I I ended up hearing him in pizza ended up beaming him a couple headshots there getting that kill and now we are up to I believe eight kills so yes eight kills now um, heard the shooting up here by the the big tree in the rock um, knew somebody had to be hurt ended up getting a, a one shot on that guy um, and a two shot on the next guy uh, so two more kills up to 10 um, one thing that that guy did wrong right there was jump you never want to jump because that gives just a little bit more time for um, the person who's sniping you to get that kill ended up hearing another guy trying to third party over here getting a great stun behind the rock and and we are cruising with these kills 11 kills in this next clip here I don't think this guy even knew I was here or what he was doing just right on the open nice easy kill on to number 12. 
So when this clip here, um, I definitely saw this guy. He was getting some good shots into me. Um, ended up deciding to flank around instead of going directly at him. He missed some shots there. Turned around just in case maybe he was behind me. Um, but I think he was just kind of rotating over here. Ended up seeing him again. Uh, he didn't really make a very good play, I didn't think. Uh, he should have probably like went behind that tree or by the rock or something and tried to head glitch me. He knew I was coming up that hill, so I'm not sure what his thought process was there, but it wasn't a very good one. So now with 13 kills, um, I was just kind of playing the zone here. I knew that somebody had to be in the building here still, so I kept turning around and looking um, as the zone was coming in. I knew that somebody was going to be camping in there because somebody is always in there. I'm not sure why. I do not like that place. I don't like any of the places that really have zombies. Um, it just kind of, you know, ruins your position and it's not very fun. I ended up hearing him jump out to the left. He did not see me or hear me. Um, definitely missed some shots there, but to end up was able to get the kill. He must have had a trauma kit on. Uh, the guy down at the brick building, I think, started sniping at me again. Um, so I was just kind of looking around and making sure my back was covered and nobody was flanking up behind me. So 14 kills here. I did have to move quite a bit, 30 seconds. Heard some shooting up to the left, um, so I knew there was going to be you know, somebody up on that other mountain. Um, but it was still a little bit far away. I was kind of focused on this guy. Ended up getting a really nice headshot in the screen right there. It looks like I was way over him, but I actually was right on his head uh, when I did shoot that um, at that distance. Ended up seeing the guy that was way over there. Got a headshot. He must have had a trauma kit on. Um, or else he didn't have any armor on, but I, I'm guessing he would at this point of the game. Uh, but the zone was coming in here. Just kind of try to get over here as fast as I could. Um since I knew he was probably weak, but he was probably healed by now. But there, I knew there was going to be other guys probably over here. Uh, four people left now. Two people shooting down here. Was going to try to pick them both up here, um, but was not able to get the both the kills as quick as I wanted to. Right there, I got that guy so weak. That guy probably hit him one time. Um, Decided to cook a nade here. He did the same thing. Was almost a really good nade by him, but I was able to uh, have a better nade. Shot the sensor dart over to gas station. I figured someone was probably camping in there, and there he goes with his truck over to uh, the bridge. Not sure why he picked that spot. Uh, I guess it, it was in the zone, but it's kind of a lower area. So I had the high ground immediately right here. I think he had a trophy down right there. I wasn't for sure if that uh, if I just cooked it wrong or if there was a trophy there. Um, was able to spot him to the left. Got some nice shots out of him right away. Um, was able to take him up a little bit again, but ran out of bullets, and he was screwed. He was on the low ground. Like I said, I'm not sure why he picked that spot. Um, he wasn't quick enough to get to the left to head glitch me as I was uh, rotating over to him, but. That'll do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the inside behind the Trev Goat. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later.